Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video on how to install mods for TCG Card Simulator uh, Shop. And this is basically going to be how to install uh, mods that use Weapon X because most of the mods are pretty simple, but obviously I'll walk through that too. Um, again, this is going to work for Windows as well, but there's uh, one step that you don't need to do if you're on Windows that you will need to do if you're on Linux. So Obviously, I'm using Arch right now, so this uh, guide is mainly aimed towards Linux, but if you're on Windows, you can follow through and it should work as well. Um, I'll show you which step that you have to ignore if you're on Windows. It's a lot more straightforward, but uh, even installing mods on Linux is pretty easy. So obviously, the first thing you need to do is you need to have the game installed on Steam. So if I boot up Steam here, you'll see I have the game installed and you have to have it running through a Proton, uh, otherwise the game's just not going to run. I'm assuming if you're here then uh and you're on Linux you already know how to do all of that and you've already got it set up but just in case what you want to do is you want to go onto the game you want to force compatibility and then you want to enable Proton Experimental or uh whatever it may be uh whichever version of Proton that you run but uh if you have Steam Play enabled and it's a Steam game and you try and run it it should automatically just pick a Proton version but if it doesn't then you just to do that step that I did earlier. So what you want to do is you want to um, just for best practice, I would run the game first. Um, that way you've got like the files all generated in case uh, just in case they haven't been generated. I think with this game, they do generate, um, but some games you have issues with that, with that kind of stuff. So like Skyrim, for example, you have to run that game first um, before you're able to uh, you have to run uh, that game first before you're able to add certain mods and whatnot so that's why I'm running it real quick and it turns out my proton thing didn't work so I did have to enable the compatibility um, usually it automatically sets it but I guess not this time so I'm gonna get out of there uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to go on Nexus mods and you want to have an account so I'm going to link all of these mods in the description because these are the ones I'm going to showcase. I think it's uh, the like best use case scenario just to show you how to download every kind of mod basically uh, all in one including Pepinex with the mod menu. So um, this is Pokemod. Uh, I think it should be updated to the latest version 11th of October. Yep. So this one will work. Uh, and what this does is it basically replaces all the cards with Pokemon cards and uh, plushies and whatnot. This is the mod I really like using because, uh, you know, I'm a big Pokemon fan. So obviously what you want to do is you want to go in requirements. So I'm going to link both of these in here, but these are the requirements. So this is the important mod, Beppin Pack for TCG Card Simulator. This is basically a full Beppin X configuration. It's already done for you. All you have to do is kind of install it. And then if you're on Linux, you have to set up the right Steam uh, launch command. So to get started, I'm just going to quickly download the mods. I'll start off with Texture Replacer because I feel like that one's pretty simple. Uh, actually, no, I'll do Bepinex first. Uh, so if you just download all the files, so like, for example, manual download, slow download, and then that'll download it. Um, that's already done. It's a pretty small file. And then if you're on Windows, obviously you'll need like a archiver to um, unzip the mod. And if you're on Linux, you'll need one too. So I'm using, um, I forgot what this one's called. I think it's called like, uh, what is this? Pzip. I'm using Pzip. Uh, it's just a nice user-friendly way to extract files and folders. But obviously if you have a, like uh, Unrar or something like that, you can use that too through the terminal. So obviously I'm just going to extract this. I'm going to put it in a new folder and then I'm just going to hit OK. And then that's going to extract that in here. So the way you want to down uh, install this mod is you want to go into your uh, game directory. So if I go back into here, I go into manage browse local files. I'll open up my directory and then I'm just going to move this over to my other workspace. Um, I can close this out and then I have this here. So I already have Beppin X apparently. I guess uh, when I reinstalled my game, it didn't uninstall all my mods, but uh, that should be fine. So what you do is you just drag all of these files here and you hit move here. Obviously I have overwrite uh, or rename for these. And that's because uh, obviously I already have these files. 
Um, so I can either write into skip. I'm just gonna write into and then override everything. Uh, just so I'm starting from scratch. So then you've got Bepinex installed. The next step is to download. Uh, let me just move this. Yeah. The next step is to download texture replacer. So a manual download for that. I'm a slow download and then texture replacer is just a Bepin X mod. So what you can do is if you go in here and you can then extract this just like we did the last one. Uh, let's see if I hit that. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. And I have texture replacer as well. And then for this one, what you want to do is uh, from what I remember, you go into plugins and then you just place this folder in plugins, move, and then obviously uh, I'm going to hit right into, you shouldn't have this already. So then uh, it will just copy straight over. But if it ever tells you to overwrite any files while you're doing this, hit yes, uh, because you are overwriting the files with the correct ones. Um, so now we have texture replace and Bepin X and now we can do Pokemon. So for this one, this is quite a big file. So I'll probably cut out the download, uh, while it's downloading. Uh, but it's not like a really big file, but obviously with Nexus mods doing the thing it does with slower downloads, uh, when you don't have a premium account, it takes a while. So I'll cut back once the download's finished and walk you through how to install that one. Cause it's a little different from how to install Bepin X and texture replacer. And then after that, I'll show you how to download um, a Bepin X mod or the mod menu and then how to set up the mod menu in Linux. So if you're following along with Windows, the steps at the moment are pretty much exactly the same. Uh, there's nothing you need to do differently. Uh, I'll show you the one step that you don't need to do when I get to it. Uh, but hopefully you're following along and it's pretty clear what I'm uh, going through. Uh, the steps have been pretty simple so far. So you just need to wait for the download. I'll be back once that's done. All right, so we're back and the mod is downloaded. So we're going to open up the zip file just like we did before. Again, if you're on Windows, just follow exactly what I'm doing. If you're on Linux, also do exactly what I'm doing. Um, you'll see we have this TCG card simulator folder. So we'll need to extract that. Uh, I'm going to extract it to its own folder just to make things a little easier for me. So this is now done and close that out. And if I go in here, I'll have a Bepinex folder. So this will have the plugins and it'll have the texture replacer and all the meshes that we need to get the dolls working. So I'm just going to move my Bepinex folder into this one and I'll move that and then I'll hit write into. So then this is going to write into this folder. And if there's any files that I need to overwrite, I can just hit overwrite. But again, you shouldn't really need to do that if you're on a if you haven't installed the mod before, I was trying to do this with a clean install of the game, but I guess it didn't delete all my folders properly when um, when I was booting it up. But anyway, uh, we'll have this here. So this is the card shop simulator data folder, and this has uh, the assets for, um, I think it's just the textures actually. Yeah, this one's just the textures. The other one was the... Uh, the plushies so we need to find the right folder i believe it's this one and then we'll just be able to copy alternatively what you could do is you could just move this here and then it'll tell you to write into it um again you shouldn't have to i think with this one you don't have to overwrite either but it might prompt you to if it does just hit yes so now that that's done we can install one of the other mods so we have pokemon done we have texture replace and bepin x so those are like the the or not Pokemon, but Texture Replacer and Bepin X are like the main frameworks you need to run uh, specific mods that have like configurations in the mod menu. So like, for example, Fast Pack Opening. This is one I really like. Um, I'll showcase how to download this one. And then with this, you should be able to download any other mod really. Uh, so if you hit manual download on this, it'll tell you that you need Bepin X or pre-configured Bepin X with Configuration Manager. And obviously we have the top one. So you just hit slow download and then you wait for it to download. So obviously that's done now. And then what I can do is I can just open this up. I can extract this again straight into my folder here. Um, and then that's made a Bepin X file. And then I have plugins and I have fast pack opening. So you just go in here, go in plugins, you go into here and you just drop this folder directly into there. So that's inside of the Bepin X plugin folder. 
um obviously i already have the mod for some reason so i'm just gonna hit right into it and that should work uh this should hopefully have updated my setup because obviously my mods are quite outdated so now that we have all that we can try and run the game and see if it works but uh if you're on windows it should just work straight out you just like boot the game up f1 and it should show you the bep and x configuration manager but if you're on linux you have to go through an extra step you have to go in properties and you have to type in this launch option here i'll leave it in the description wine dll overrides equals quotation mark win http equals n comma b quotation mark percent command percent obviously in your space between the quotation mark and the percent so now that uh you type that in you should just be able to boot into the game and the mods should hopefully work if we've done everything right and obviously the way you can test that is by opening up the Beppin x mod uh, configuration manager and checking if, you, if you're using pokey mod specifically checking if the plushies textures have uh, properly loaded if they haven't then you've done something wrong especially with Beppin x but by the looks of it pokemon is working and my Beppin X is also working. So obviously I have some other mods. Some of these are out of date. But the fast pack opening one, the one we just updated, works perfectly fine. So I'll showcase some of this just real quick. Uh, if you hit close up here and then I'll load into my game. Obviously this is an older version of the game. So I'm not sure how, how compatibility with uh, updating the mods is going to work. And with some of them not even being updated. But as you can see... It's working here. My packs are Pokemon packs. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just quickly go in here and order some plushies just to make sure the plushies are working as well. Where is it? Uh, figurine, I believe. Yeah, let's get some Charmander plushies. Let's get a couple of them. And then just wait until they've been... Oh, my bad. Let's just get some of them. Now that they've been delivered, I can... Uh, yeah, the Charmander plushies are working, so that means the mods are uh, working perfectly fine. Box has no more space. Oh, there we go. Um, let me just throw that away. Let's see how the card pack, fast card pack mods working. Yep, that's working fine too, as you can see. It looks like they added some new cards, actually. I don't remember all of these here last time. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Obviously, you can configure the settings for this. So, for example, uh, you can speed it up a lot. You can have um, all these different settings like uh, uh, unlimited packs in hand and all that. You know, it's pretty insane. But yeah, this is just like, obviously, this is the mod menu that people are having trouble getting working under Linux as well, especially. That's a cool Celebi. Um, but this is just a showcase to show that it is indeed working. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any problems or questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you do like the video, please go ahead and like it or share it with anyone if you think it will help them out. Uh, but that's it for me.